Did you know that rocks are constantly being created and destroyed? This process happens all around us, all the time, even though we can't see it. And it's called the rock cycle. Right now in the rock cycle, this rock is an igneous rock. But with weathering and erosion through wind, rain, and temperature changes, it will cause this rock to break down into pieces. Now whether these pieces are big or small doesn't matter. They may eventually form a sedimentary rock. This igneous rock could be buried underground where it would be subjected to heat and pressure and could become a metamorphic rock. It could also melt into magma. When that magma re-solidifies, it would form a new igneous rock. Sedimentary rocks form layers, and as these layers get stacked one on top of each other, the bottom layers can be heated and compressed and actually be turned into metamorphic rocks. This is the sedimentary rock called shale. When you add heat and pressure to it, it will become a metamorphic rock we call slate. Add heat and pressure to the slate, it becomes schist. Add heat and pressure to the schist, it becomes gneiss. This metamorphic rock is exposed at the surface, so it is subjected to the same weathering and erosional processes that will cause it to break down into sediment. Now that sediment over time could become a sedimentary rock. If this rock were to be buried and it were to melt into magma, when that magma re-solidifies, it would form an igneous rock. Now if this rock were to be buried and, to, and be subject to heat and pressure, then it can be re-metamorphosed into a new metamorphic rock. This rock is a sedimentary rock called sandstone. When it is exposed to extreme heat, like next to a magma chamber, it actually becomes baked or metamorphosed into a new rock called quartzite. You might think that these rocks here are permanent, but they're not. Just as you change with age, so does the earth. And that's the rock cycle.